Without your battery, you'd have a tough time getting out there and on the road. But what do you do when it's time to change that battery? Is it worth the extra cash to install a lithium type battery instead of the tried and true lead acid? Today on MC Garage, we take a look at lithium based batteries. We've covered the subject of batteries more than a couple times here on MC Garage, but as an integral part of your motorcycle's electrical system, there's always plenty to talk about. We've covered the different types of batteries, how to replace them, and how to take care of them when you're not riding. But often I get the question, are lithium-based batteries worth their higher cost? The short answer is yes. They're lighter, they have a slower discharge rate, and they perform better in cold temperatures. But they're more expensive and could require special chargers depending on the type. So let's weigh the pluses and the minuses. First, the minuses. Cost is always a consideration when buying parts for your bike. And the difference between a lithium-based battery and your typical sealed lead-acid battery could be significant. Typically, a lithium battery could be anywhere from 50 to 200% more expensive than its lead-acid counterpart. But lithium iron phosphate batteries like the Shirai are nearly the same cost. Do factor in that you will need a special charger, but any charger that does lithium will also do lead acid. So maybe it was time for a new charger anyways. The only other downside is if you let the voltage drop below a certain threshold, which varies depending on the construction and brand, the battery could be toast. Lead acid batteries recover from deep discharging better and more readily than lithium batteries, but those are really the only two minuses. And there's plenty of upsides. Weight is always touted as the big reason to switch, and there's no denying that a lighter motorcycle is a better handling motorcycle. This Shirai is a third of the weight of the stock unit that's in this KTM 790 Adventure. So what's five pounds? Well, the higher that weight is carried in the bike, the more you're gonna feel it, especially when changing directions. And on this KTM, that battery is above the seat. That's higher than your waist when you're sitting down. With all the work KTM did to lower the CG on the 790 Adventure, the low slung fuel tank and a compact engine, it's a shame to see an extra five pounds sat up so high on the bike. Cutting just a few pounds will make a difference. Then there's the low self-discharge properties of lithium-based batteries. When sitting static, batteries lose some of their charge. And as time goes by, the higher loss from a lead acid can be significant. Say you haven't ridden your bike in about four months. A lead acid could have lost up to 15% of its total charge. And that's if there's no draw on the battery. The Shirai, on the other hand, only loses about 1% per month. So storage life is much better. And if you're storing your bike over the winter, all you have to do, disconnect the negative terminal and you should be good to go until the spring. Finally, cold weather performance is superior. That might not be a huge concern for someone with a sport bike or naked bike, but adventure bikes like this one here can see freezing temps when traveling the planet. At freezing, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit and zero degrees Celsius, a lead acid will lose 50% of its capacity, while lithium only loses 10%. So there it is. With lighter weight, lower self-discharge, and a better cold weather performance, all at a similar price, charger not included, a lithium-based battery's pluses far outpace the potential downsides. And that's it for this episode of MC Garage. If you like what we're doing, hit the like button, subscribe, and share with your friends. If you have any questions, as always, put them down below, and we'll see you next time.